Alrighty, so what we are going to do today is we are going to have a versus video between the Ryobi P238 Brushless Impact versus the new Black Friday Sale Impact, which is P235A. Now this one, the P235A is brushed. We're going to do uh, four tests. We're going to do a 1.5 amp hour battery, three amp hour HP batteries, four amp hour battery, and six amp hour HP batteries. We're going to put this head to head to see which one dominates the other or see which one is uh, lagging behind and by how much. I use this already for a couple of things in a couple of videos and this is my new favorite impact. So if it loses, it loses. I don't care. I'm still going to use it. Of course, I have one more powerful, even more powerful than this. And that is the half inch brushed impact wrench. Now, just so you guys know, they are making a new one for the, for the US. So that's coming out uh, hopefully soon. So if you guys seen it online on eBay, it looks like for uh, Europe, they're actually making one that looks just like that for the US. So what we're gonna use in this test, we're gonna use, I think these are four inch, four inch lag screws, six inch lag screws, and uh, 10 inch uh, timber lock screws. And for the grand finale, what we're going to do is we're going to see which one of these could drive this in with a fresh battery. And if neither of them can, we're going to judge this test by how far it goes in. You know, first we are going to do the P238. Wait, make setting three. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alright, so that's time on that one. Remember, this is with a 1.5 amp hour battery. A little bit. There we go. Alright, so three, two, one, go. Alright, you guys, just to let you know, just the fact that this is able to do it already satisfies me when it comes to its performance. It did it easily. No pressure was done for either of them. Uh, you can tell that the brushless uh, tools re uh, majorly require that HP battery. But but yeah, this uh, this uh, did that 14 inch, uh, 10 inch uh, timber lock screw with ease. Right, let's swap it out for three uh, amp hour batteries. We're gonna do the P238 first. So that's good. So three, two. One, go. Time. My neighbor's gotta love this noise right now. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. All right, so the three amp hour batteries, the, the HP batteries do also help out your old stuff. We're gonna judge that by the time. All right, so four amp hour batteries are next. So three, two, one, go. Done. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, the four amp with the four amp hour battery, you can I can immediately tell without knowing the results that this struggle uh, that this struggle a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're done with the timber lock screws. We're gonna use the six amp hour batteries for the lag bolts. Uh, use the P238 with a six amp hour battery, and the battery is full. All right, so let's do this in three, two, one. There we go. All right, let's take it out. I'll be impressed if it, this could even just do the task and not 
I'm not worried about time with this. So I'm going to time it. But if this is able to do it, this is a this is a damn good impact. All right, so let's do this in three, two, one. All right, you guys, this, it's a good impact. It's not brush, it's uh, it's not brushless, but it did that, I th feel, even faster than the P23 uh, 8. All right, so let's take it out. Done. All right, we're gonna skip the six inch and just go into the grand finale on this with the same uh, batteries. I'm actually a little nervous. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping it does. All right, so three. Yep, I'm in there. It's in there, good. All right, so three, two, one. Yes, it can. It can. Do I smell a little, little burning in there? Tad bit. Doesn't smell burning anymore. Fantastic. See, like this, this little tool helps you out big time because if you need to cool off your tool quick before the heat starts to. Uh, rise the temperature of other parts this takes care of it within like 20 seconds this this tool is no longer smell like it's burning and it's no longer hot like the entire unit is cool all right so all right so three let's see if we can do it three two one no it cannot no it cannot all right can all right this failed this failed to take it out. I'm not going to put that through any more torture tests. Can the P238 take this out? I have a feeling we're going to need the help of the half inch impact wrench. I have a feeling. All right, so three, two, one, go. Yep, we're going to need the half inch impact. done hot alrighty so I think it is time the battery's full it is time to test out the p238 again to see if this could drive it into the the 10 inch half inch lag screw let's guide it in all right so three is on speed three three two one go I'm gonna call it there. That is taking way too much time. Way too much. It's it's going too slow at the point where it's at. Let's try again. Nope. I can tell that it's skipping. I can tell that the. Uh, the hammer inside is skipping. Yeah, let's, I hope I don't break this tool. And it did. It did it. It did it. You wouldn't use these tools to do this job. You would normally just use the half inch impact wrench. Uh, so yeah, like these uh, doing this job is way above these pay, uh, these two tools pay grade, but they're able to do it. But if you use these like this on a regular basis, 
you're gonna fry the tool out extremely quickly. Extremely quickly. All right, so let's take these uh, six out really quick with the P235A. We are going to give this, what's the battery on that? Battery's at 75%. We're going to give this one one more test. I am in, I am in the process of winterizing my boat. And one thing I do is I take the, uh, I take the prop off. So let's see if this is capable of taking off what the P261 put on. Let's see if it can do it. The P235A is going to take off a one and a quarter inch uh, locking nut. So let's see if it can do it. Yes, yes it can. Yes it can. Wow. Because I do not keep this on during the winter. This needs to be replaced anyways, so this all comes out. So the results are there. You can say what you want, but the new uh, impact that comes in the Black Friday sale is just as powerful as the P238 brushless. The six amp hour bat, the six, the, the HP batteries help out even the tools that aren't brushless just because they're that just more powerful. It doesn't help out nearly as much but it still gives the tool that extra oomph. So when it comes to impacts, these two are all you need that, that Ryobi make. This is all you need, these two. Now I have uh, all these impacts for the testing videos, just for demonstration, but these two are actually ex the only ones you need. Because the reality is, the test results proved it, that these two are equal. We are going to be doing a test video against uh, the other drills and brushless drills against this one to see which one prevails, but I can tell that this one's powerful as well. The only downside on this one, it is not a hammer drill. If they included a hammer feature on this that's still brushed, this would probably be the dominant drill. This drill is, it, it looks cool and it actually helps out around the house a lot. So we're going to do a testing on this one soon. And uh, the Black Friday is going to be a good Friday. Now, remember the video that I did of the Black Friday sneak peek? That wasn't everything. That was just what I was able to get to because there was a lot of bodies in the way. And I, they were doing demonstrations. I'm not going to have everyone stop what they're doing and back away so I can get to it. There's a lot more uh, Black Friday stuff that is going to be out around the area. So, but this kit was available to buy for the Black uh, Friday price. So I got it and I do not regret it. This thing is awesome. I do recommend you get, if you need a new impact, get this one. This one's awesome. Does not smell like it's burning at all. And I did what this wasn't even designed to do. Oh, it smells good. I love new tools. So the model number for this again is P235A. And this thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. Now, I already went through the specs on this one in the unboxing video. I'll put both of the unboxing video and the Black Friday sale walkthrough in the link below. So this thing's awesome. My favorite tool. My new favorite tool. This one used to be my favorite tool, but now this one is. So that's pretty much it. And this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.